Boss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pitches back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 25. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Bell awaits the snap. Brown fields at the 31. The Tigers in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. So they'll get the first down there on a two-yard completion. Nice play there to move the chains and keep the drive rolling. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and ten. They're about four yards away here on second down. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And off, and he's met immediately. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. The offense got a little conservative and predictable with their play call. They credit the defense with being up to the task of stopping the run. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Going to go across the middle. Caught. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. First down pass to his tailback. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first and he's tackled after positive yardage so we got a few yards on that carry if you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that you can really start to wear a defense down They get nice yardage on that run. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at the 50. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read Get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Wide receiver screenplay, and he's tackled at the 41. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10, ball on the 31. On the ground, inside. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Pulls in the pass and steps out. the 20 yard line it's first down brought down at about the 15 yard line this is the 12th play of this drive at about the 19-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Third down again. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Georgia could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Orson ready to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. 
Brought down at the 27. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Up the middle for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds around the 31-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure has a load to bring down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and six. run there so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go delayed handoff and he's not going to get back to the line Clemson is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. Three, three ties. Swanson looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. It's a ball left side. He's tackled at about the nine yard line. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the nine yard line. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Bell to punt. And he's taken down at the 43. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. They go to the ground game. He fights forward to about the 43. From the 43-yard line, second down. So at the end of one, and this one's knotted up at three. We're all 
all tied up as we head into quarter number two. Makes a grab and steps out right away. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Wants to go long and does. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. Takes the counter left. He fights forward to about the 30. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He fights forward to about the 16. No game. That makes it second and 10. From the 16-yard line, second down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Well, it's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He gets to about the 34-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From their own 46-yard line, first down. He's at the 40, makes it out to about the 36. run up the middle. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32. He's at the 20. 
Tackle made around the 15 yard line. From the 15 yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 11-yard line. Go for it. Go for it. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop it. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 77 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. This one's all even at 10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Tackled for a loss. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Throws this one out to the right. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second third. Swanson is the putter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got some open field. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. He's out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 13. From 
the 13 yard line. First down. Takes it right and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And for Young, he adds another TD catch to make it two. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he adds the extra point. Thorson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Clemson's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running back just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So it's second down now. And they need about four yards to pick up the first. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a deal. First down. Down he goes at the 36. That makes it second and 10. From their own 36 yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at the 47. run and he's brought down that makes it second and six from the 49 yard line second down tackle around the 47 yard line Bring him down at about the 45. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All start. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. 
Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 14-yard line, third down. Georgia is up seven. He makes his way out to about the 25. Brad, looking at this play selection and the result of the play, I think the offensive coordinator is trying to just pick up as many yards as they can to set up possibly a punt to see if they can change field position with a big-time punt by the special team. Tackle at the 48, and he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over him. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Going deep. Knocked down, incomplete. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football to knock that away from the receiver. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Punters going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback we've still got a half of football remaining Georgia's lead is a touchdown hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Here's Davis Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it, next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gives it off. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 27. Hey, 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 
caught open field. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33 yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Gives it to the back. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. That'll make it second to six. the middle for a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he's leveled at the 33-yard line. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks up. And he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-13, Georgia. Swanson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. We're about set to start things up again. Georgia is up four. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Nearly intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. He's tackled at about the 49. They'll line it up again on third down. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Try to change the field position with his kick. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pitches it, and he'll lose yardage. He sails it long. And it's intercepted. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and 10, ball on the 28. Georgia is up by four. Makes it to the 41. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 41. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and six. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Humphrey picks up seven yards with that catch. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Georgia holds a four-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 29-yard line. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Here's play number 10 on the drive. That quickly incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Incomplete. Almost picked off. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Throws it deep. Doesn't get there. Get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. He steps up, and he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Bell is back deep to return. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Georgia is up by a touchdown. Hands it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Second down and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. complete he's got room to work tackle around the 39 yard line from their own 39 yard line first down quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts and they'll get him in the backfield that was well defended by this defense the offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. It's intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. 
He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Fights forward to about the 39. That makes it second and eight. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 2013 Bulldogs. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Deep pass to the end zone. No, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Gets out to around the 28. They hand it off. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 10. And they push him out at about the three-yard line. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. down right around the two-yard line might have been some early movement up front That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So they're going to go for it here. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the two. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Georgia is up seven. He's tackled around the four-yard line. It's second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Gets to about the five-yard line. Pressure. 
pressure coming. We've got a safety. Maybe he forgot where he was on the field, but he needed to unload that ball a lot sooner. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, because this offense has got to score a touchdown, and because of the time of the game, I think it's important that the defensive line pin their ears back. They know what's coming. Can they get to the quarterback before he gets the ball out of his hand? So tight coverage, pressure up front. The defensive line's got to be the difference makers here for this defense. A couple, maybe three yards on that run from the 44-yard line. Second down. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. And they make the stop at the 34. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 34. Right, right, right. 
know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. down and they need to get it to the 24. He fights forward to about the 30. Tackled around the 23 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws into coverage, just picked off. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a DD4. That makes it second and six. He's out of bounds at the 32. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. He's got room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Wide out makes the first down catch, and down he goes around the 45 yard line. to his tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield, taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackled for a loss. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Third down again. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Fires it quickly. 
And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. They'll bring him down right around the 10-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Throws out and through his hands. That makes it second, and ten. second down, 10 yards to go. 10 yards to the end zone. Just over two minutes in the game. Caught, open field. Touchdown, Georgia! That's his third toss for a score. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he tacks on the extra point. as his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he'll return it from the one he's pushed out of bounds at the 27 yard line and the offense will take the field and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive which ended with a turnover and I don't think this defense will lay down lightly they're going to try to continue to rattle this guy He's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Got a man. Watch out here. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle around the 41-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He delivers. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. Out in the open. Brought down. Right around the 40. Clemson will take their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick pass. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. He's got 300 yards passing now. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And he stops the clock with a spike. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the five. Player 
Rodgers in there, got it, touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? He hits the PAT. And he's tackled at the 45. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Well, the Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. He takes a knee. one's in the books. The Bulldogs come out on top. 27-22. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Clemson had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.